welcome back, Mr. Ashlock. Um, I am. Um, this has always been one of my favorite topics for years. Um, influencers sometimes they come in a, in a minute, in a second, in a moment, the right time, right place. Sometimes they're over a lifetime, sometimes in between. Um, you know, my first major influencer that I can remember is my my grandfather, my grandmother, my mom, my aunt. Actually, all came from Kiev way back when, and um, I had my grandfather an accent. He used to take me for walks in the park. Uh, when I was in Montreal, five or six years old. And one day I saw, he always talks to me, but one day I said, Zeta, how do you know all these people? And he looked at me and with the accent, he said, you know, one day I was just a uh, little walking slowly and and and, um, and I smiled at somebody and he smiled back at me. And then he came over to talk to me. And then while we were talking, somebody came over and said, you know, I see you guys are smiling um, and, and smiled at us and talked to us. And, and we have made friends and there's all sorts of things happening now between us. And it just hit me that how much a smile can make an impact as an influence on people, um, not only mentally, but physiologically and all sorts of things, which I never knew about before then. And I got to know more and more yeah. how important it was. So um, can you share with us two or three people that have been in some way, I know there's probably more, but influential in your life? Sure. Thanks, Mark. Um, I love your story. And I, I probably have three kind of mini um, examples of transformation. And the first one are my parents, very similar to your own. Uh, for the simple thing that they could make do with what they had to do something better. My mom didn't have fizzy sodas, so she used Epsom fruit salts. You know, my dad didn't have a particular heart, so he made one from scratch. You know, that ability to just make do, make it sustainable, make a difference. Cool. The, the second one is I was in a up for a big award with a global uh, technology company. And the senior executive in the, in the middle of all this asked me, why? Why did you do it? And why were you inspired? And that power of that question and the sincerity in which it was answered, uh, asked. Um, and at the moment, I, it wasn't scripted. I had not prepared for it. I just, in my, the flash of my mind was, I need to be truthful. And I gave my honest answer. I did end up winning the war. And, but the, the point I would make about it is, I realized as I got to know that executive, his testimony, his witness, he was looking for people that cared, leaders who care. Yeah. And, and I've now incorporated that into my own approach when I'm looking for partners and I'm looking for everything else. And the, the third thing has really influenced me, and, 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 and I'm, I was trying to limit the number, is friends who saw in me things that I did not see in myself. I, and I can rattle those names off. There's Leo, there's Thomas, there's Kareem, there's Steve, there's, you know, the, the list goes on. Uh, Richard, who first got me into writing. Um, and, and I've been blessed with friends who could see things in me that I didn't see. Yeah, those are truly yeah. leaders who care where, um, you know, Pat Riley said the best legacy he could ever have in sports is having all his assistant coaches become head coaches. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and, and get them out of a job. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and um, but it, but it's true. If if you have a mission like that, where you're 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 hugging people, going back to the initial comment that you had about loving yeah. people and really yeah. sincere about their success, I yeah. mean, that that goes into it's it's just massive what happens from that. Yeah. So, absolutely, the heart of it. And what I find now, the, the people I want to spend time with always care. And if they don't, it's, they're nice, we'll be friends, but we're not going to spend time together. The, uh, the other thing people have come up, and I, I, used, I talk about it a lot now too, is we're all influencing people at some point or another, maybe even multiple times yeah. a day. And it's really our choice. Are we going to be positive about it or negative about it? Um, and that. You might not even see the difference. Like a lot of teachers don't see all the impact they make, but it yeah. happens. So why not? Yeah. It takes a lot less muscles to uh, smile than to frown, as they say. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Thanks for sharing that so much. It's great to hear. Yeah, thank you, Mark. It's it's great to be a part of it. Um, a massive thank you to every person that's made a difference to me, and hopefully, I can share it with others. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you.